Why the 2022 recession is the most unique A heated semantic argument raged among politicians, economists, and market experts in the summer of 2022 about the official status of the U.S. economy's dip into recession. Ultimately, the definition of recession became a political point of contention. The United States officially entered a recession in the summer of 2022, meeting the criteria for such a state as two consecutive quarters of negative gross domestic product, or GDP. Business cycles in the United States are defined differently by the body that does the defining, the National Bureau of Economic Research, NBA. ER. According to the National Bureau of Economic Research's definition of a recession, which requires a widespread drop in economic activity to endure for at least a few months, there was no recession in the summer of 2022. In light of the robust job market and rising corporate profits, Orion Advisor Solutions Chief Investment Officer Tim Holland expressed doubt that a recession was underway. We also remind ourselves that recessions are unusual, occurring only 8% of the time during the previous three decades for our economy. On the other hand, a recession might hit shortly. Inflation has reached sky-high levels, but the Federal Reserve is determined to keep raising interest rates until it declines. This might lead to a slowdown in economic activity, or perhaps a recession. Keeping an eye on these 15 indications can help determine if a recession is on the horizon. When a recession is imminent, most indicators trend downhill. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss why the 2022 recession is the most unique. So stay tuned to find out. Now let's start our video. There is no such thing as an identical recession. However, the recession that may occur in 2022 seems to be unlike any other recession we've seen. There are already some classic indications that the economy is slowing down. The gross domestic product, or GDP, of the United States has contracted for two quarters in a row, which means the textbook definition of a technical recession. Home building activity has significantly decreased during this time, while consumer confidence has reached an all-time low since the epidemic first appeared. On the other hand, Vice President Joe Biden stated Thursday night that the country continues to be on the right road. Here are some of the most significant reasons why the next economic downturn will be different. The labor market is robust. A typical recession pattern sees concurrent drops in both economic production and employment. Businesses are forced to lay off workers as income drops, which contributes to an increase in the unemployment rate. In the end, increased unemployment leads to less consumer spending, which produces a vicious cycle because of the negative feedback loop. However, in the year 2022, unemployment remains at a historically low level. In July, the official unemployment rate was 3.5%, the same as the all-time low recorded shortly before the epidemic. According to experts at Goldman Sachs, a healthy labor market amid a recession is historically exceptional. The exceptionally robust employment market may be benefiting from another unexpected source of support, the strong financial position of corporations. Companies are cash rich. During times of economic crisis, businesses typically see a drop in both their sales and profitability. The procedure may have already gotten underway. Despite this, American firms continue to post profits and have amassed enormous cash reserves as they go into the current economic downturn. Currently, the after-tax profit margin for the typical American firm is about 16%. This rate often falls to the single digits during classic economic downturns. While this is happening, these companies have accumulated more than $4 trillion in liquid assets. This is not just an all-time high, but also very out of the ordinary for the current economic climate. It's possible that businesses were able to raise this cash during the decade-long period of easy money and historically low interest rates. Now, this wealth is serving as a buffer and might make it possible for businesses to keep their employees despite the economic slowdown. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Now, let's continue. Rates are rising. A further particular aspect of this economic downturn is the hawkish position taken by the Federal Reserve. To restore economic equilibrium, the Federal Reserve would often lower interest rates and inject additional funds into circulation during a recession. To combat the rising cost of living in 2022, the Federal Reserve has been steadily increasing interest rates. The robustness of the employment market, as well as the balance sheets of corporations, may provide the central bank with more justification for continuing to raise interest rates. NBER says the previous recession recession was in February to April of 2020. Some state governments loosened limitations and unprecedented direct payments and unemployment insurance helped consumers make due. Before that, the Great Recession lasted from December 2007 to June 2009. While not as bad as COVID, this recession lasted longer. The expansion between the Great and COVID recessions is the longest in U.S. history, dating to 1854. 
Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this video was. I hope that you found this one interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.